The war will definitely end this year, and the beginning of the defeat of the Russian occupation forces has already begun, Ukrainian expert and journalist Dmitry Gordon reported. At the same time, the journalist emphasized that one of the main cords of the end of the war will be massive bombing of Moscow. Dmitry Gordon spoke about this in his interview with Vasily Golovanov on the YouTube channel. The journalist began his story about why September the 1st, 2024 is a significant day for Ukraine from afar. I will now say very important things, in fact. September the 1st for me today is three dates. The first date is, of course, Knowledge Day. September the 1st has always been the beginning of a new life. The second, of course, is the beginning of World War II on September the 1st, 1939. After this, Dmitry Gordon intrigued the Ukrainians with another resonant statement. Third, I ask everyone to remember that on September the 1st, 2024, the final stage of the defeat of the Russian army in Ukraine begins. It was today, on the night of August the 31st to September the 1st, that the end of the Russian army began. I will decipher this. We reached the finish line tonight in military coercion of the Russian fascist army to peace. This is my wording. Moscow's energy facilities were attacked, and it is precisely with attacks on Moscow that the Ukrainian army will end this war. The operation on the territory of the Russian Federation will gradually expand its geography and cover at least two more regions, Bryansk and Belgorod, Dmitry Gordon reported. At the same time, the journalist assured that Russia does not have the strength and means to stop our offensive on its territory. More than two weeks have passed and the territory captured by Ukraine is expanding. The Ukrainian SVO will, of course, spread to the Bryansk and Belgorod regions. The Americans have already allowed the use of their missiles and weapons to the full extent on the territory of the Kursk region and tomorrow they will allow it on the territory of the Belgorod region. The day after tomorrow, on the territory of the Bryansk region and the day after tomorrow, in general, on the territory of Russia. We understand that this is a matter of time and very close time because presidential elections in the USA is approaching and the Democrats need to report on their successes. The journalist expressed his opinion on the upcoming events. As death toll is rising among Russian soldiers fighting in Ukraine, Putin's regime is receiving increased backlash for its war of invasion in Ukraine. A resident of Russia's St. Petersburg city has shared video footage of a large cemetery in the city that is known to be the cultural capital of the Russian Federation. In a video posted in Telegram messaging app, the social media user has condemned Putin's war of invasion in Ukraine and decried the killing of Russian soldier in Ukrainian soil. Dark side of the culture capital of Russian Federation. How many guys have died? For what? What the hell were you looking for in Ukraine? You cannot return the guys. The graveyard is getting larger and larger, the man said as he was filming the video. Russia has been expanding its cemeteries since full-fledged invasion of Ukraine in more than two years ago. According to some media reports, as of June, the government has spent $1.5 million on cemetery expansion. Так, темная сторона культурной столицы России. Вот оно, блядь. Нахуй никому не впавшая СВО, блядь. Нахуй оно нужно, блядь. Сколько пацанчиков лежат? За ради чего, блядь? Чё там ту ёбаная Украине нахуй забыли, блядь? Ёб твою мать, блядь. А пацанов не вернуть, нахуй. Блядь, сука, кладбище растёт и растёт. Сука.